three items, as you suggest. I'll start with the two coming from the Committee of Energy and Commerce. Both are partisan bills. It really should have been bipartisan ones. First uh, is H.R. 2467, the PFAS Action Act. Our committee considered a very similar bill last Congress, so this will be familiar to our returning members. Like the version from last Congress, H.R. 2467 is unfortunately a partisan bill. The bill is intended to address contamination and environmental problems caused by two groups of chemicals that everyone in both parties agree are a problem. Uh, but though there is a bipartisan consensus that these two groups of chemicals pose an environmental problem, uh, there's no, and there's a consensus that Congress should act, the majority has once again chosen to go it alone. Rather than putting forth bipartisan solutions, as Congress did on this exact topic in both 2020 and 21 NDAA reauthorization bills, majorities instead once again declaring that it's their way or the highway. Uh, truly, as Yogi Berra, Yogi Berra once said, it's deja vu all over again. H.R. 2467 uses heavy-handed, top-down solutions that would override the existing process at the EPA and that are not supported by science. The problems posed by these chemicals are ones that can and should be addressed by consensus, uh, but we cannot accomplish that goal without thoughtful input from the broader scientific community and a thorough process at the EPA. This bill would prevent both uh, from happening. I strongly encourage my friends in the majority to rethink this course of action. Our second item is H.R. 2668, the Consumer Protection and Recovery Act. The bill is intended to overturn a Supreme Court decision from April of 2021 that held that the Federal Trade Commission Act does not give the FTC the authority to seek or court the, author the authority to award equitable monetary relief. The bill uh, before us uh, would specifically add that ability for both the FTC and the courts uh, into statute. Unfortunately, like our first item, H.R. 2668, is a partisan bill. During the markup at Energy and Commerce Committee, the Republican members expressed concerns with various provisions in this bill. The bill has an unreasonable statute of limitations, does not include guardrails to prevent the FTC from exceeding its authority, and fails to include other important priorities like increasing transparency, ensuring the FTC incorporates economic analysis before proceeding uh, to an enforcement action. Each of these concerns could and should have been addressed through bipart a bipartisan process. I'd remind my friends in the majority again that uh, they're unfortunately going down a road to simply make political points rather than make law. They truly want to govern, then continuing to go it alone on partisan bills is ultimately self-defeating. Mr. Chairman, Congress works best when the two parties work together, uh, when we actually seek bipartisan consensus. Uh, that consensus results in better solutions for the American people. I'd remind my friends that it's not too late to change the direction, and I hope that the majority will choose an alternative path. Finally, our last item is H.R. 3985, the Allies Act. This bill addresses concerns with the special immigrant visa program for our Afghan allies. It would increase the number of SIV uh, program visas by 8,000 and simplify the requirements for the program uh, for those who supported American military operations uh, in Afghanistan. This is particularly important in the wake of the decision by the Biden administration to withdraw American military personnel from Afghanistan. I understand that uh, Republicans on the Judiciary Committee, which has jurisdiction over this issue, have some concerns about that legislation. I look forward to hearing their testimony today, but in the end, I'm sure I'll be supporting this for humanitarian reasons uh, uh, that you outlined in your own remarks. Uh, certainly, we need to help our friends get out of harm's way and, and honor our commitments in that direction. I'm sure we can find a way to work together on that and look forward to that. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you. Ranking Member Cole yields back. I want to thank